Hey everybody, Brandon here, and this is going to be a quick video on how to upgrade the hard drive of an HP Pro One 600. Um, this particular model that I have is a G4 version of that model, um, so there may be a couple screws, a little clips, different on your model, just be kind of careful um, if it's not the exact same model, but this might be able to help you if it's a little bit similar. So first step we're going to do is take off this uh, stand here, and there's a button in the center underneath. You press that and then lift up and then pull it out and that's your stand. Now all we're going to need for this is a screwdriver with a Phillips head and a Torx head and your hard drive that you're going to be upgrading into. Um, so first thing we're going to grab this Phillips head. There's four screws, one, two, three, and four. We're going to have to just take those out. All right. So now, here's the spot where it kind of gets a little tricky for some because if this has never been taken off, the plastics will be very tight on each other, and it may kind of feel like you're going to snap or break something to get this cover off. So the, what, the, what I like to do is go furthest away from the ports to this top right. Um, if you're watching the video, everything might be inverted because the video is upside down. Um, but if you're looking at the device, the top right, we're going to come here and lift this and get that snapped first. And then we're going to come to this top left, snap that one as well. And then here, I like to come under this corner with both thumbs pressing here to kind of give that one. That's a little firm there. So then we're going to come to this one. And what we want to do is make sure we come up as straight as possible. That's why I do all the other three. So that way we're not going any other direction but straight up. So come this way. Boom, straight up. So that way your back cover's off. So now what we're going to do is transition to the Torx screwdriver bit. There's one screw right here for your hard drive to get the assembly out. Take that off. For this, we're going to push the hard drive this direction and then lift it up. And this green tab right here, we're going to need to take that out to remove, to disconnect the hard drive. So pay attention to the orientation of your ports because we'll need to make sure that this drive goes in the exact same way. So we're going to take out the four screws from here. Right. We're going to take this five out. This drive in. Okay. So now that your new hard drive is mounted in to your bracket, we're going to grab this cable and flip this this direction so you can kind of look at it and then plug it in from that way and then you just simply flip it that way and then pull it back towards you so it can lock into that guide grab that one torque screw again to screw your drive back in all right now another thing to note on this model computer, this particular model, it has an M2 slot over here. So if you wanted to get away from a traditional SATA hard drive, or let's say this port is maybe messed up, you can move and install an M2 drive directly there. And that, that would suffice as well. It actually will run a little bit faster since it's directly on board. There's no cable. So you might actually be able to run both options if you wanted to up, not only upgrade to a solid state drive here you can also add an m2 there and i would recommend installing the operating system on this one and then using this one for data um, but there's really no no wrong way to do it um, yeah i just want to let you know you could upgrade this to a state uh, m2 at this point by putting it in that slot not all m2s will work um, certain models like nvmes uh, you probably probably have some issues with so you might need to just make sure that you're getting a compatible m2 if you do choose to do the m2 that being said, we're going to put our case back on. For this, I like to line up your ports as the most important. We don't want to snap any of those. And let it sit there. And I like to apply even pressure with both hands. Take this, not hard, but firm. And kind of make sure all your clips are in. So now, we're going to grab that Phillips head again. And then screw our four screws back in. And then after the screws are put in, we're going to put this top first, groove it in, and then come down with it, and it snaps. Boom. 
And that's it. That's a hard drive upgrade to the HP Pro 1 600 model.